Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a really interesting space game actually, known as Easterlid. This is a beta version and it's absolutely free, so there's no reason not to check it out. Let's find out what this game is all about. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this amazing game called Istralid is actually absolutely free. This is a website that I have in full screen right now. And it's basically a really, really cool uh, combination of strategy game, space game, and a bit of a ship building as well. So basically you go in and um, in design your own ships here. You can also go into multiplayer mode and uh, join um, various groups of people and play against them. There's always tons and tons of people available for you to play with. But the coolest part is that it also has a free campaign that you're going to go through. And I kind of started this very recently um, and basically started playing a little bit just to see what it's like and so far i'm loving this game i'm gonna show you what this game is all about um but yeah it's free with of course one little extra here if you want to support the game and if you want to actually uh, make it grow you may want to consider purchasing a dlc uh, for this game that's uh, basically kind of like ten dollars or something for me it's a korean one because this is where i live but it's essentially to help the game grow and to help support it as well other than that it's actually a free game and you can totally play it on steam as well but i'm going to be playing it from my browser because you know what this is actually kind of exciting uh you can play this from your browser you know at work at school not saying you should but you could right I'm not at work right now, so I, I can do whatever I want. Anyway, uh, there's also challenges, which is actually... Uh, a lot of these are really hard. There's basically a, a special level. Like, for example, if I choose hard here, I'm totally going to lose this. But basically, here we go. This is a challenge where I have to try to uh, defeat the enemy. That's probably a lot more powerful than me. And the way this game works is that you have these spacecraft that you design and uh, create yourself. And you then launch them to... Uh, Essentially attack the enemy. So these guys are coming toward me. They're gonna try to capture my base. They're already capturing that base right there. I'm already losing that uh, But here we go. Here we go. Here's the battle. I'm gonna try to defeat uh, this little guy and uh, Go and capture that thing because they stole it from me and We're gonna launch a few more things. Oh No move. Oh, it's a missile. That's actually is Homing great. That's great. That's not cool. You can zoom in and see the battles a little bit closer, but you can see that this is going to be really hard. These enemies are way stronger than me, they have more weapons, they have more everything. And they're clearly a lot more well developed. So I'm totally going to lose this battle, which is why I'm going to go and quit it right now. We're going to go into campaign instead, I'm going to show you um, all of the levels that this game has available for you. So I kind of started, I'm only on level 3, but look at all of this. There's all of these levels, there's boss fights, there's a lot of um, uh, missions all the way here. And essentially this will take you hours and hours of free, absolutely free play. Um, there's absolutely not no reason not to try this game. And um, out of all games that I've tried that combine sort of shipbuilding and essentially uh, battles, this is actually one of the funnest ones because, because of one simple reason, I'm going to show it to you. So first of all, this game has a pretty cool tutorial, which kind of like uh, does a step-by-step -step, uh, shipbuilding for you and lets you build your own ships uh, as you progress through various missions. I'm going to actually make it this way because I want to have uh, more armor in front. And essentially, so where you, when you start the game, this is what's going to happen. You're going to launch a few craft, uh, you're going to place them somewhere on the defensive or possibly go on the offensive right away and this is essentially where this game shines it's it's just it's such a brilliant combination of real-time strategy and um ship building and at the same time uh real fun fast-paced gameplay now to me this is this is awesome like this is kind of like you know the the best parts from um your favorite rts games like starcraft warcraft and so on and it combines everything into this one beautiful game that is just really, really cool. So I'm going to place my ships with their armor in front because they're going to be attacking these guys. And oh, oh, okay. I lost one ship. I lost one ship. We're going to try to sneak behind these guys. We're going to try to sneak behind this guy, actually. And they're super slow. As you can see, they have no wings, meaning that they're really slow. So I can actually go and attack them. And you guys will go and attack this guy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You kill this guy first. There we go. Now, produce more ships. And you go and kill that dude. So, this is, to me, this is actually really, really fun. This is very interactive. It's, even though it's so fast paced, even though it doesn't really take long to finish a mission, you're going to be enjoying these and replaying them quite a lot. Because, first of all, um, every single time you replay, something new will happen. Uh, so AI might change its um, the way it plays the game, or you might end up uh, 
playing against a player that does something completely different that you're not used to. They might have a design that you've never seen before, and they might also be able to defeat you with even less developed smaller ships, which totally happened to me when I played against someone I had no idea what I was doing. But we're going to try to defeat this ship by coming from behind of it, because it's a very powerful ship, it's impossible for us to destroy it otherwise. And we're going to place some defense here, just in case the enemy decides to show up. And we're about to finish this mission, it's not going to take us very long to finish. We're going to capture this, and once you capture both of these circles, the game is over for the enemy. So here we go. And three, two, one, boom. Continue. So we can go to the next level, and this is when you get to create a new ship. This time it's going to be a light fighter. With uh, these wings right here, they basically um, add more maneuverability. Uh, then there is uh, sort of the weapon mount, the weapon itself, battery, and engines. So this will be a very fast-paced ship, which I'm going to launch a lot of. I'm going to actually have them go and capture enemies points and we're gonna see if we can actually maybe defeat the enemy before they can defeat us this is gonna be fun because they actually have really powerful ships here that will be able to uh, cause some havoc to us there we go they totally are eliminating all of us so maybe add more light ships because this is not gonna go well for us try to kill this guy first now see if you can kill this guy there we go that's excellent now, go in here, build more ships, and see if you can defeat everyone else. So that's essentially the campaign mode. I'm actually going to quit this for a second. And uh, there is the multiplayer mode, of course. So there's one versus one, two versus two, three versus three, and so on. And you can kind of just basically, uh, you know, click on something. And let's see if I can... Oh, okay, I can't really join this yet, I think. I'm just a spectator. We're going to watch this. So let's actually go and watch this. And so here is the um, enemy player versus enemy player. As you can see, their bases and their ships are much more complex. They have a lot of stuff going on here. Very well-built uh, ships. This guy has a shield of some sort. They're basically playing defense. And so it does get really, really complex. And, uh, you know, for a free game that's so easy to get into, but it's so hard to master, this is, this is brilliant. And the fact that it's free is absolutely awesome. Uh, so that's the multiplayer mode. I also want to show you the design uh, here as well. So you can actually construct quite complex ships. So for example, if I really wanted to build something up here, uh, let's actually maybe go into empty. Here we can actually essentially construct a ship from scratch. So let's just build something that has a, a mount in the middle. We're going to give this ship a lot of power, a lot of engines. It's also going to have really powerful weapons. Uh, this is just insignia, we don't really need that right now. We're going to put maybe an, a plasma turret in the middle, then artillery gun right here and right here, and another torpedo launcher right here. So it's going to be really heavy, sort of a destroyer, and I think I may need to replace these with plasma turrets because I think the artillery gun needs more space. And then we might also give it some maneuverability here, so let's just place a few wings. This will give it a little bit of maneuverability. And uh, essentially, we're ready to go. So this ship right here would be a pretty good uh, destroyer of things. So we can go in here and uh, see what it looks like. So let's build up a few of these ships, uh, maybe a couple, and see how they do against the enemy in a challenge mode. So they're, they don't look too bad. I think they have no armor, though, and no protection. So they might actually be uh, not very good at um, surviving. But they do have torpedoes and a lot of weapons. Look at that. Torpedoes are actually, uh, they just fly straight forward, I think. Um, so let's just stay here, capture this, and use a few light fighters to protect the rest of the area. Or can I? I don't think I have enough money. I don't have enough money. I can only build one. Well, let's see if we defeat them. Oh, look at that. We actually defeated the enemy. That's awesome. Wow, these guys are powerful. Really powerful. And I think they, these guys have air carriers, meaning that we need to uh, be really careful. So I'm going to very methodically move through each of the areas here. These guys will stay here, protect this uh, this particular base. And uh, this ship costs 600, uh, 600 units, which is pretty expensive. But you know what? It's better than nothing. And so essentially, this is the game in a nutshell. Super, super fun. As you can see, I'm actually doing much better with these ships than I did with my first uh, creations. And uh, this is, to me, one of the best free uh, shipbuilders out there. This is actually one of my favorite sort of games. And the fact that you can actually play with your friends for free, you can uh, go out there and, you know, find uh, a team of players to play with, three versus three, makes it so much, so much better. Anyway, 
That's all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, you enjoyed watching this and I hope you'll subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys these types of games and possibly consider supporting this game on Patreon as well. Oh no, these guys have a uh, torpedo protection. Ah, interesting. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. And I don't know if I'll be able to win this, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to send my sh ships uh, right here. I'm going to capture this point right here. It's going to be mine. You go, you go right here and you build a new ship for me. You stay here and defend my base. And here we go. Looks like I'm about to win my first challenge. This was with the new ship that I just created and I was able to defeat the enemy. And boom. Well done. Mission complete. Best time 3.02. Anyway. Awesome.